in the cowboy boot. But uh, let's see. We're going on a demon island. We get back into this one. Of course, the same map as the uh, previous uh, match, but it's going to be JK Zyder finally able to pick up the weapon. And of course, that looks like a real life Heisen as he is getting all sorts of gauntlet strings. Or that's a nutty bot, man. Bots are scary. I was playing twos yesterday and the guy disconnected and I knew the bot was going to kill me. Thank <laughs> the Lord that the guy reconnected. You can ask Taza. I was genuinely terrified. Dude, it's always, it's always rough when you're doing better against the player than the bot. But here we see JK Zyner able to get a nice little orb string onto Heisen. Got the three piece continuing it as he gets back onto the stage. Gravity cancel side light side air. A little bit extra coming with that weapon toss. That orb just bonking Heisen on the head. Like a newspaper when you bump a dog on the snout when he does a bad thing. Yeah, that's that's bad, by the way. No, I, I, I agree. You shouldn't do that. It's not how you train a dog. I feel like when Ann would have gotten mad if I didn't point that out. But Heisen not going to be <laughs> mad as he gets the first stock off of JK Zyder with the gauntlet play. Going to swap on over to the scythe. Maybe not going to have the scythe for too long. The stomp cider puts him off stage, throws the scythe down to guarantee the ground touch. Ooh, goes with the neutral light. Going to send Heisen on the edge. He wanted to confirm the knockout there. You saw him chasing off stage. We've seen Zyder chase uh, quite a bit off stage. Like really close to that blast zone on the left side multiple times now. Wants to confirm those knockouts. Get as much as he can as he is behind. So dodging around, JK Zyder connects with the Cider, but still not able to finish off this stock of Heisen. Falling Nair will do it. JK Zyder gets the stock evener, but he's taking a little bit of damage here. A reset to the orb as far as weapons go. He has all that defense to work with on Thor. He has Heisen weapon starved. It's a nice dash in side light side air. Finds the third hit. And he did make a little bit of a mistake by once he got kind of that second string going, going over back to the weapon spawn and just sitting there. I think he should have stripped the field there that could have kept Heisen weapon spawn a little bit longer. He's so close to evening this up, and I think Heisen not having a weapon really would give Zyder an edge to catch up and then take the lead. You see him not even really covering that down toss from Heisen. Heisen is able to just kind of walk back over, pick up those gauntlets, and these gauntlets are what's serving him so well for finishing off the stocks that even had the hit stun on the weapon toss to lead to the neutral signature. Heisen with a pretty solid lead here. Only about midway through this second stock, he's getting closer to red. The recovery, he is red. Oh, the That's neutral so signature coming out just barely before the weapon toss hits Zyder. Yeah, managed to avoid getting beaten out by that weapon toss. Ice in. Now, even in health and stocks against JK Zyder, he's got this scythe, but we haven't seen those huge extended scythe strings coming out from Heisen just yet. Lots of nice weapon two hit. Yeah. Gets the third hit. That's kind of, oh. until this string right here, that's the only few things that were making contact with Zyder coming out from Heisen. Side light, side air. Zyder's in the lead. Neutral light coming out. Heisen getting over around back to the middle of the stage. Zyder sticking with the orb play. Heisen over to the gauntlets for the dunk down. Goes for the weapon toss. Zyder. Oh, oh no! He had the neutral signature that entire time. Oh no! He waited so long to do it. He was what? expecting Heisen to come down. I need to rewatch this replay. Did he do the immediate dodge towards the stage? Is that the reason why? Like, was his dodge down and he wasn't able to uh, get the gravity cancel? I don't know. I'm watching the replay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He did an immediate dodge up, and that was. Oh why. okay. Okay. All right. I thought he was just waiting for. Uh... For Heisen to come down. Yeah, me too. I was like, where where's the end sig? That is such a classic uh Thor move is to go for the gravity cancel end signature when you're off stage. But uh looks like he burned his dodge and uh just didn't quite have the movement. Maybe he expected to get that wall touch just based on like natural movement alone. Uh, but either way, game one gonna go the way of Heisen. 
and they're both opting into the defense stance here. Going to be a little bit different in terms of numbers, but their strength is actually going to be the same. That means uh, damage trades will be in the favor of Zyder because he's got that higher defense. He's going to take less damage per hit on top of the fact that he's got the hammer, one of the hardest hitting weapons in the game. Insider gets the recovery, tries to chase dodge to maintain that pressure. He burns a lot of aerial movement going that high. It's a little bit risky if Heisen was able to get the turnaround, put him above uh, the air. Let's see Zyder fall to his death. Zyder does have a huge lead right now. Stomp Zyder is going to be the knockout right on the edge. He's taken less than 80 damage so far this game, and he's already taken the first stock in under 45 seconds. This is huge for Zyder, and he is stripping the board. Uh, taking a page out of the Sparky book of plays. Try to deny weapons as long as possible. Heisen going to have to fight for the weapon. Does get it uh, with the help of that unarmed side heavy. Now, Zyder being able to take that kill as early as he did is a fantastic sign for him because last game, he struggled to find that first knockout. Goes for the toss down. Heisen now with the weapon denial. Dodges around the Icicle, is able to get the stomp side air punish onto Heisen. He is widening the gap in stocks. Now he does find the knockout, but it's interesting that Heisen, when he hit the downlight, chose the active input towards the middle of the stage, rather than the strong kick downlight over to the left side. Uh, maybe was trying to play for the uh, the damage buildup. He does recognize that it is Zyder on the uh, Undertaker, a very high defense character. He was maybe just trying to go for like, I'm going to get as much damage as possible, try to guarantee it. But that weapon toss almost guaranteed it. Heisen able to get back to the stage with the help of his own weapon toss. Heisen very red right now. You see Zyder fishing for those knockout moves. He's fishing high and Heisen's low. He's fishing low and Heisen's high. But the Zyder's side gonna air. Yep, is gonna that's going to be the one. Trying to cover the weapon pickup. Doesn't connect with the neutral line. Heisen back to the gauntlets. This is what worked very well for him in game number one. Zyder finding some around. nice string options. Ooh, back to back side light side airs. Gets the D-Light, the actual bottom swing of the D-Light. Weapon Toss coming in. He's still able to grab it even though he gets hit. Again, side, side light, air. side air. Oh! Zyder just having Heisen's number throughout the entirety of that final stock there. Had the high toss to read the recovery. Had the jump side air to finish the stock. Every single point of the orb play of Zyder was on point. Uh, for that final stock, and that's going to even it up to one game each. And you see Zyder going for a lot of different read options out of his orb strings, and that's just going to keep Heisen on his toes and probably a little bit scared as to whether he wants to go high or go low, maybe fast fall down, maybe stay where he is, throw out a move. But it's been like the neutral signature that can cover high. We've seen that come out. We've seen the weapon tosses going high. We've seen the weapon tosses going low as well. So that's just going to keep Heisen on his toes right after he gets hit by a string. It's not like, oh, I get hit by a string. I'm going to jump and dodge away. And then it's just going to be a reset back to neutral or anything like that. He has to worry immediately rather than worrying about, okay, I'm going to get close to the corner and then it's going to be a problem. Yeah, he's forced to think about how he's going to react out of these side airs from Zyder. Zyder also showing that he's capable of hitting kind of just the raw falling side airs to lead into those same uh, kind of dodge read setups. That's trouble. Both of them getting back to the wall safely, resetting back onto the main stage. Oh, that's going to be a punish. Big recovery from Heisen. He is starting to get this damage built up onto Zyder. Yeah, Heisen has more momentum now than he's had kind of this entire set so far. That first stock going heavily in his direction. 
Good spacing, avoiding that down signature. That's going to be tough to punish from the direction that Heisen was. For not being able to, like, go under that hammer throw. If it was, like, on stage, he could go under the hammer throw and then punish. But he didn't have that option here because it was right on ground level. Yeah, and because he was grounded, couldn't go for, like, an upward angle above it. Uh, but still... Both of them on their first stocks only for a moment. Zyder hits the falling side air. And despite the fact that Heisen had a big start with the Scythe, had that early lead, Zyder able to extend with this high defense of the Undertaker. Momentum is halted, but Heisen does find the immediate turnaround. Now this game all of a sudden kind of got a lot longer than before. We saw 45 second stock before, and now we're two minutes into this game and both players have just died. Zyder getting a couple of hits, but Heisen willing to kind of stall out a little bit. Sit on that left side wall, not let Zyder get too much momentum with his hammer. Man, nice I can't believe that D-Light hit. That must have been the top side of that downlight hitbox. Heisen finding some gauntlet momentum when the first stock momentum was really sight based Showing his proficiency with both of his weapons. But again, Zyder, totally comfortable being on this back foot, being a little bit more damaged than his opponent because he knows he's got so much defense on this Undertaker. <gasps> Man, that was so close to hitting. He's just over it. Yep. Weapon spawn coming in. Heisen's going to get to it. It's going to be the D-Light into the recovery. Weapon throw coming out. He's going to stay over on the Scythe. Gonna hit a nice recovery. Immediately throw away that Scythe. Very smart move coming out from Heisen. He had so much room. He wasn't in danger of like Zyder dashing in and hitting him before he's able to pick up his second weapon. Now Heisen really starting to widen this gap between the two of them. With this Scythe play, gets the downlight to follow up, pushes forward, wants to keep Zyder off stage. Weapon toss gets him back to the wall, but Zyder's in position for the, for the ground pound. Yeah, Heisen was low enough. That weapon toss came out. That hit Zyder put him in a little bit of hit stun, but not enough. Heisen had to get over to the wall. Zyder was able to easily clean up that knockout. The front side of the fist, like a max range ground pound for Heisen to hit that. What a classic gauntlet ground pound. Uh, goes for the pivot. Scrape the, knuckle, the knuckles, as TWK would say. Uh face towards the wall but hit with the bottom side and Heisen's gonna take another one going up 2-1 over JK Zyder. Now it looked like for a second the Zyder was gonna swap over to the Bodvar using the Xavier Woods crossover. It seems like Zyder's a big fan of WWE crossovers but he went back over to the Undertaker like he was playing before. Now sticking with it it's been working fairly well so far and uh Cannot blame him for uh, liking that high defense and that hammer. Uh, also, his orb has been solid. It's not like his yeah, orb has been definitely. slouching and he's like, oh, I'll switch to a different character with hammer. Uh, taunting to start this one off. Guessing it's a Heisen bot. Yep. Yep, That's it the is. the mark of a Heisen bot. But yeah, going back to what you were said, uh, I, I would have agreed with you. Unless like Zyder 100% knew that he had a sword and it was going to be warmed up and ready to go, which we don't actually know a lot about Zyder's character picks just because he usually doesn't place uh, mm -hmm. late enough. Uh, he chooses not to report his characters. And then, um, so he doesn't have a lot of sword characters. He has Ember, Ragnir, Sentinel. Uh, it does have a Hattori and a Koji that we've seen him play as recently, uh, recently in air quotes, of course, as recently as Autumn Championships, but multiple Qatar legends only some having sword in his character pool. So him sticking with the Undertaker, I think, is, is the smart move. His orb is looking good. His hammer's looking good. Um, obviously, he was up to one in this set before the last game. Three, two, one, brawl. But either way, uh, going now into game number four, JK Zyder versus Heisen. He's going to be starting off with that orb that we were talking about. Not able to find quite the connection. He was hitting so many side light side airs previously. 
suddenly Heisen is putting a halt to all of that. Oh, snap the side air. Oh, the weapon toss connects. Zyder barely touches the wall. Both players finding some good damage in this game, but Zyder's just a little bit in the lead. Both players now in orange. Sidelight not able to convert into anything. Zyder's weapon toss goes around Heisen. He doesn't even have to burn a dodge to get away from. It's going to be a stomp side air from Zyder when Heisen's in red. The dodge is out. Ground pound coming out from Heisen. Oh, oh goes for the D-Light. Ground pound hits the D-Light, which takes away the recovery from Zyder. That would have been... Oh, no. Drops the D-Light recovery, too. Oh, no. This has got to be frustrating for Heisen not finding that finishing blow. He had so many opportunities. Got two down lights and just couldn't find the knockout move. Weapon toss almost connects with Heisen. He's got the side airs. Gauntlet able to utilize those side airs for the horizontal air movement. And that's why you saw so much pressure coming out from Zyder, uh, so much movement over onto the edge. You saw the weapon toss come out. He knew that wasn't going to be the knockout option. So you see him putting out pressure because he knew Heisen was going to have to use so much in-air movement economy and the side airs that Zyder could possibly look to punish that. He wasn't able to, but he does find the stock eventually about a minute and 40 seconds into this game. So again, just like last game, really, really late stocks. Yo, but great utilization of that soft platform from Heisen to extend his reach in the unarmed kit to get that side air for the finisher. A lot of backing up just came out from Zyder, more than I think we've really seen so far in this set. Maybe looking backed for up that basically kind of, uh, breathing room. Yeah, wanted a lot of it. All the way like from the middle, you saw him jump and back up and jump and back up, move back a little bit, just a little bits at a time until he was all the way over on the left side on the soft platform. Quick jump side air from JK Zyder, but he's not finding any extensions. Trying to play that weapon denial, but was too close when that weapon toss connected, so he ended up just picking back up the orb again. Sidelight into the recovery. Heisen was looking for another one. Sidelight, side air, weapon toss connects. Dunk down. Ooh. That's a stock. That's a huge dunk to hit on the edge. I think that was like when Zyder was just now getting into the red. Mm -hmm. So any of Heisen's knockout options might not have killed just yet, depending on where they were, but that was a beautiful knockout. Zyder turning it around as well. In a similar fashion, that side signature just barely had enough on it to finish off the stock of Heisen. He had like just peeked into the red. Here we see Heisen with the big scythe strings again. He's been leveling up his scythe as these matches progress. That is one of the reasons why best of five top eights are so favored by players is because they have so much time to adapt and figure out what their opponents do. Nice little three-piece coming out from Zyder. He's a little bit behind. Has the hammer in hand, so he can turn Heisen from yellow to orange very quickly. Ooh. Whoop. Oh. Just outside of the down signature. Neutralite into neutral wow. signature. That was enough to knock out off the top. And just like that, Heisen is going to take it 3-1 against Zyder. Very convincing. I didn't think finish. that was going to knock out. Yeah, it looked like it just barely had enough again. Uh, these kind of optimum knockouts coming out from Heisen. Uh, but just like that, Heisen going to close it out 3-1 and continue on to fight against Swada. But before that, we're going to go to the other side of the loser's bracket for M for Mini versus Blade. Now, that was Heisen in that last game, putting out 551 damage, which divided by three that you would spread over...